Hello friends in today's class we are going to talk about set of record maintained during execution of a procedure called activation record Welcome again and uh, the next topic we are discussing here is the activation record okay so um, the term activation we have used many time and there is an activation we have seen there is an activation of activation of we have seen activation of main this we have used the term and also we have seen activation of the fifth function so basically uh, now we want to uh, comment about the content okay, what exactly the this activation is consist of the content of an activation you can say okay so content of an activation that we want to comment and uh, this is the definition information needed by single execution of a procedure is managed by using a contiguous block that is called activation record or frame so now okay uh, consisting of collection of field shown uh, below or in this figure okay so now this is a uh, single execution of a procedure so this is the information for maintained by single uh, the term is single execution of procedure okay single execution of procedure so to maintain this information single execution of a procedure we maintain a contiguous block of storage called activation record or the same thing is called as frame okay so we can call it as a frame also not all the language not all the compiler uses all the fields often registers okay now some places now we don't use the all the fields uh, but often registers can take place uh, of one or more of them okay for uh, language like pascal and c it is come customary to uh, customary to push the activation okay so uh, these are the field and it is saying that all the compiler and all the um, all the compiler and uh this language does not use all the fields uh, but some places like uh, it it used value is the register so i can have a, a dedicated storage allocation in memory space or we can have registers okay uh we are more interested in this part that uh, what exactly the activation record is consist of so it is consist of uh, returned value actual parameter optional control link optional access link saved machine status local data and temporaries okay so there are the different fields are there and uh, after that i'll explain you each and every field but we can say that there are few responsibility of the caller okay and there is a few responsibility of the callee function so now that first uh, the new term is caller and callee function so now if i say main and in the main function i have a call of let's say fun okay so i'll say main is the caller function and fun is the callee function okay so let's be very clear with this okay so that is the meaning of the callee function responsibility is to local data and temporaries caller function responsibilities are this part okay uh, so let's uh, discuss the these different uh, values over here the next topic is your uh, the different uh, activation record content that we have already seen and i'll explain you in this section what this uh, content consists of so here the first content here is the temporary values and the temporary values um, such as those arising evaluation of expression are stored in the okay field okay f i e l d field for temporaries okay so now suppose that there is a big expression is there and a is equal to suppose 5 plus 10 multiplied by 2 so now we cannot evaluate this entire expression in one go so suppose there is a 20 and then 5 and then finally 25 okay so that way uh, this 25 will be stored in the field of temporaries the field of local data holds the data that is local to an execution of a procedure 
So if we are executing a procedure and we have discussed this so many times. Huh? So if I say int main and a simple function I am having int a that is local data. That local data will fill be store. Uh, that local data field will hold the variable a. The field saved machine status hold the information about the state of the machine. Okay. So what exactly is the state of the machine and that uh, state of the machine described by the register value. Okay. There is some register value. There can be a status uh, PSW register that is program status word. So these are the some information or even I say SP the stack uh, pointer is also saved. So the status of the machine just before the call, huh, this, the status, uh, the information includes the value of the program counter. That is uh, one of the important value, the register value, program counter, machine registers, and the that have to be restored when the control return from the process. So when you come back, you have to, let's say main is calling, let's say, if I say uh, main is calling here a fun, and you execute the entire function fun and then we'll come back uh, to the main the entire environment has to be restored okay so that way the entire environment and this whole thing will be hold the uh, in machine status now optimal access link optimal access link refer to the uh, this is the key term here the non-local data okay so the non-local data uh, can we access the non-local data uh, so that is uh, something that is uh, within the scope or not and that is called basically a scoping rule okay so can i access the non local data and that is scoping rule uh, is for the non local data okay and if it is in within the accessible range then we have to create the link or the pointer and that is called is as a access link of the activation record for example in fortron Access links are needed because the non-local data kept in the fixed place. Okay, and access links are also related with display mechanism needed in Pascal. So um, display, huh? display is also for uh, another term that is used and that display is nothing but the uh, for access link also. Uh, we will deal with this uh, particular access link topic in more detail. Okay, and, uh, and we'll see the, the different type of the scoping rule involved over here. Okay, so these are the four different topics. The next topic here is a. Uh, okay, let's see the next section, next set of topics. So the next set of activation record here in this case is the optimal control link. And what does it say? What does it mean here in this case? It points to the activation record of the caller. So as I just told you before that, uh, if we have a main function, in the main function we are calling it, let's say, suppose fun. Okay. So, uh, and other, other uh, statement can be there, but here if I have an activation record of one one, okay, so the control link, the control link will point to, control link will point to the activation record of the caller, okay. So, okay, ex activation record of the caller function, so fun one control link will point to the uh, activation record of the caller function and in this case main is the caller function. Okay, so that way. Now, uh, the sixth field here in this case is the field of actual uh, parameter and it is used by calling procedure. Okay, we are have a called procedure and calling procedure or uh, called or uh, calling. Calling procedure to supply parameter to the called procedure. So now if I say that uh, again my main function is there and uh, if I say let's say fun and I'm providing some parameter so this field is used by the calling procedure to supply parameter to the call process so main will use this field okay so main will use this field this field to supply parameter to supply parameter to fun okay so that is the idea that uh, and that here in that case is your six 
okay now we show the space for the parameter in the activation record but in practice okay we have a space over here or we have a field in practice uh, it is often passed as a machine register for greater efficiency okay so we have a field we can store it in 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 memory also but for registers are you know uh, used for obvious reason okay so this field is generally registers are used and sometime there is a concept concept of overlapping registers okay now this is also from the same uh, same that we just have this uh, faster access okay so faster access we used the overlapping register which is a common between uh, call calling function and uh, caller and callee okay so caller and callee function callee function so that is a uh, they share few registers with each other okay the last one is the field of the returned value and this uh, is used by the call procedure so fun will use this field okay now fun will use uh, will use the returned value field okay returned value field okay uh, to return the value to a calling procedure and again in practice values are returned into the register for the greater efficiency now but the always it is using the term greater efficiency and the reason for greater efficiency is uh, the term used here in this case is uh, because uh, every time you access the main memory okay every time main memory is accessed because the, this activation will go into the stack and uh, main memory access will take uh, larger time will take long time okay will take longer time longer time then accessing what accessing register so if you are accessing a register it will take a smaller time than this okay and that's why the term always uses the greater efficiency okay so we are done with this uh, set of activation record and its value and there are total different uh, seven fields are there and i have explained you each and everything so i hope uh, this thing is clear to you you observe that there is a certain responsibility of the call procedure and certain responsibility of the callee procedures okay so callee and the sorry caller and the callee functions okay caller responsibilities so i hope i am clear over here thank you